Good day everyone, this is Scott of Cruising Geek, and today I'm going to be taking this car out and seeing if the 0 to 60 time is affected by using the Sprint Booster or not. So let's get out to where I can run this to 60 and test those times. While filling up and heading to the location, I will describe the test method being employed. I plan on doing 8 total runs, 4 with the Sprint Booster off and 4 with it on the Red 2 setting. I will perform each run with the car in Sport Mode. I will then start from standstill and apply even pressure to the throttle to get going. I am not going to be using launch control as I believe this isn't the normal daily driving case. And frankly, 8 plus consecutive runs with launch control in Corsa aka race mode will be brutal on my back. Note though that this means the times will be slower than the factory advertised times that use Corsa mode and launch control. The climate control will be off for all runs as well. For each run, I'll be using the GPS Race Timer app to get speed and times. This will hopefully provide good readings for the runs. And now, it's time for the runs. Now that we completed the runs with the Sprint Booster off, let's do some runs with the Sprint Booster turned on to red number two. Here is a high level view of the results. The results for the Sprint Booster off are on the left and the results for the Sprint Booster on red 2 are on the right. At a high level, with the Sprint Booster off, the average mile per hour achieved was only 52.33, whereas with it on, the average mile per hour achieved was 56.67. The average time was also reduced about a tenth of a second with the Sprint Booster on red 2 down to 4.27 seconds from 4.33 seconds. I also created this quick scatter plot, and from this it makes it clear with the Sprint Booster on red 2, there's a linear nature to the data. This means that if I would have actually been able to record specifically to 50 MPH or 60, the times would have been very even with it on. However, the data is non-linear for the Sprint Booster off, meaning that it is much more difficult to achieve a consistent 0 to 60 or 0 to 50 time. In conclusion, it looks like the Sprint Booster does provide slightly faster 0 to 60 times from standstill, and more importantly, allows novice drivers such as myself to get more consistent times while dueling poles. I do expect that using launch control would minimize the benefits of the Sprint Booster, since the pedal is already down and the engine revs high before launching. But most people don't go around using that on a daily basis, so I believe this to be a fair examination for normal street use. The Sprint Booster feels amazing in the green 9 setting that I use daily, and it's nice to see some data oh, to back that up. Oh, my <laughs> if you want to pick up a Sprint Booster for your Gallardo, R8, or any other naturally aspirated vehicle, definitely head over to Bertman Industries, which is where I picked up my Sprint Booster for independent testing. Link is in the video description. And if you like seeing experimentation with exotic cars, or just want to see more of my Gardo in action, make sure to like and subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Godspeed.